today we are going to be cutting all the shapes and gluing them together to build our zebra. I'm going to start with my materials. I'm going to take one of my painted pieces of paper and I'm going to draw a stripe down the middle. Just one straight line. Now halfway between that middle line and the edge I'm going to draw another straight line that goes from top to bottom and the same over here. These are going to be the four legs for the zebra. Next, I'm going to get a different piece of painted paper and my really large rectangle stencil. I'm going to hold it with my helper hand and push my pencil right against the edge of the stencil and trace the edge so I can trace the shape onto my piece of paper. I am making a copy of the shape by tracing it. I'm going to set that one to the side. Now the last piece of paper has the most stuff traced onto it. All of these parts are for the neck and the head. I'm going to flip my piece of paper over. Make sure you're tracing all the shapes on the back of your paper. Lay all the shapes down first before you start tracing so that way you know they all fit on your one piece of paper. Use that pencil to trace around the edges making a copy of the shape onto your paper. Use your helper hand to hold the paper while you are tracing. You might have to lift your arm up to get underneath of it or go back around the other way. Make sure you're tracing all the shapes before you say that you are finished. Once you have all the lines and shapes drawn onto your paper, you can raise your hand and ask for a pair of scissors. I'm going to check your work to make sure you got it right, and then I will give you those a pair of scissors. Now that I have everything drawn onto my three pieces of paper, I'm going to get my scissors and I'm going to start cutting everything out. Wherever you drew a pencil line, that is where your scissors need to nibble and cut the paper open. Take your time and work carefully and neatly cutting along that line so that way it looks nice and neat. It's okay if it's not perfect. It's okay if it's not exactly the same as mine. Do the best you can to cut out all those shapes. We are practicing our scissor skills, so make sure you're taking your time, turning the paper, and cutting on the line. I'm going to keep working on these shapes as well. I'm not done till I have all the shapes cut out. Almost done. The last two shapes look very different from the others. Those two shapes are for the ears. These are going to be the ears of my zebra. Don't lose your ears. Hold on to them. I'm going to take my scissors and my glue and finish putting everything together. I'm going to take my large rectangle, that's the really big one, and the four long stripes that I made for the legs, and I'm going to glue these pieces together. On the two bottom corners, each corner gets two legs. So put some glue, and then slide it under there, and press it down, hold it, and make sure it is stuck. Then do the next one. Some glue, slide it under, press and hold to make sure it has stuck. Here is the next leg. This one's gonna go in the front corner. Take your time. Make sure you get enough glue onto that piece of paper. Slide it under and press it down flat. The next thing I'm going to work on is the neck. I'm going to take those two curved sides and I'm going to put glue on one of them. 
Then I'm going to place it under the top corner for where the neck goes. Now I'm going to put some glue at the top and get the shape for the head. This is our medium sized rectangle. I want my zebra to kind of be looking straight ahead slightly down. So I want to make sure the head goes on at the right angle. So it looks like he's looking in the right direction. A little glue under the ears. Last one, glue it down. And I am all finished with putting the parts of the zebra together for today. Next week, we'll talk about making the extra details for the face, the hair, and the tail. Clean up your materials, put everything away, and you are all finished for today. <music>